Hello, I'm Barbara, Curriculum and Training Specialist at PASCO. And I'm Tom, Education Manager at PASCO Scientific. And we're here today to introduce some wonderful new wireless sensors. So we have wireless temperature, wireless pH, and wireless pressure. And this is the beginning of a wireless family that we think is going to really unleash the imagination of your students in your classes. So Barbara, why don't you tell us a little more about them? Sure. Well, you don't need an interface to connect your sensors. They connect straight to your software. They are designed to have a long battery life. And because they're wireless, you can work with multiple sensors without getting the wires tangled. Also, they're rugged, and they're affordable, so your students can work in smaller groups as you can outfit your whole class with sensors. Tom can tell you a little bit more about how easy they are to use. How easy are they to connect, Tom? Well, well let me tell you. All the wireless sensors are going to be using a Bluetooth low energy to connect to your devices. Uh, some of the wireless sensors, like the wireless pressure, will, con will connect via Bluetooth low energy and via USB. And they'll connect to our SparkView software which is great because it's on all your devices. It's on Macs, PCs, Chromebooks, um, tablets, and even phones. So to connect, first thing we need to do is turn them on. So I'm just going to hold the power button down for a second until the red Bluetooth light turns on. And that red light means that it's broadcasting a Bluetooth signal. So in my software, I can touch the Bluetooth icon. And I will see which devices are broadcasting that signal. And I can see, based on measurement, through using these icons that there's a pressure, a temperature, and a pH. And if I have a class set of a particular uh, measurement, I can identify them based on their unique ID number. So I'm just going to touch the temperature sensor. It's going to connect to that sensor. I can see that it's connected. I'll hit done. And I can see on the sensor that the Bluetooth light is now flashing green, indicating that it's connected. While the other sensors are flashing red, they have not been connected. And they will eventually turn themselves off if they do not connect keeping the battery life long. Right, so on this home screen, now that I'm connected, the temperature measurement is available. So I'll touch temperature, and automatically I'm launched into a graph. And I can start collecting data. So seconds from turning it on to pairing and connecting to collecting data. In a hot water bath. We can definitely see that temperature change. Yeah. Oops. And because they are rugged and water resistant, they will definitely uh, be able to withstand those student oops that you're bound to have in your classroom. Still collecting data. Still collecting data. So this is a great start to our wireless sensor line, but there are going to be other sensors to come that are going to address the needs that you have in your physics, in your chemistry, in your biology, and in your environmental classes. And for your sensors that you already have, you can connect an existing passport sensor to an air link and make it a wireless connection. Let me turn on the air link. And once that's on, just like I did before, I'll connect via that Bluetooth icon. And now I see the air link in my device list. If I touch on air link, it will connect to the air link. And on my home screen, I'll see all the measurements that are available with this multi-measure sensor. And this is one of the advantages of those passport sensors is they can be multi-measure. So now I see all those measurements available. I'm going to touch wind speed. And we're going to quickly generate some data. Excellent data. Thank you. If you have any questions or need some more resources, we have lots available at pasco.com slash wireless. You can see lab activities, resources and documentation, and videos. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.